Uh, well, I'll start by asking why the Evil Dead and why now? Why now? Uh, probably that's a question to ask Sam Raimi, right? Because this come this the idea of having a new Evil Dead come from Sam itself. So, so it's, I think what Sam wanted to do, he wanted to bring the the, the story of Evil Dead, which is kind of a quite an iconic horror tale, to a new generation, right? To a new audience, and um, and we were of course, and I wanted to tell in a way that not only the new audience will enjoy it, but also the the fans of the original film, right? So. I guess it's you know it's sometimes with these stories if you don't tell them again if you don't keep if you don't keep telling these stories it's just disappearing time and probably if it wasn't because of this movie maybe in 10 20 years nobody will remember about the movies from the 80s right so I think it's really important for me at least to to keep those stories alive right so how important is it for you because this is obviously your debut film the people judge this on its own merit and not sort of compare it to what, what came before the people that were sorry how important is it that people judge this film on its own merit and they don't sort of compare it to what came before? Oof, I guess it's really important for, with any film, right? Like, do, do you want people to judge the film by itself? But I guess it makes sense that uh, if you're borrowing ideas and from another material that people are always going to compare it. Just like, you know, play do a, uh, every time you do a novel that you adapted from a book, people will compare the book to the novel, right? Like, I mean, if you do a movie that is adapted from a book, people are going to compare, well, the book was better. The whatever, I mean, it's the way it is, and that's, and that, that's fine. I mean, I guess uh, the smart critic you usually will take it as it is because the audience, those kids, they walk into the theater, they're 20 years old, they, they don't know it's based on anything, so they're not comparing the film with anything, they're just exper having the experience of the film, and that's it. So usually you have to think about it just as, as one film, right? And I mean, there's a series of really kind of memorable one-liners and some quite sort of amusing moments as well. But how do you, was it quite difficult for you to kind of find that middle ground between making a film that's quite amusing at times, but also really sort of terrifying? Was that quite challenging? Yeah, it was challenging, yeah. Because it's, you know, with gore particularly, something that if you cross a certain line, suddenly it's not scary anymore. It's just so funny, you know, outrageous that it's not scary. So the challenge here, how you manage to give the audience that outrageousness and, and, and craziness that makes you laugh and, and, and makes you relax for a second and then go back to the darkness of the story and the tension and then give more of the over-the-top stuff. I mean, it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing about this kind of movies, how you manage to keep the audience going from laughter to, to horror to suspense. It's just a beautiful, you know, medium, I guess. I mean, you, you must have needed quite a lot of blood for this movie. I mean, yeah. at one point it was actually raining blood. Yeah. How, how did you go about getting that much blood for a movie? I don't know. Like, you have to ask the effects department. But we had, just for that scene, the, the, the scene in the third act, we had, you know, 50,000 gallons of blood in, in a truck. So and we used that all. So that was a lot of blood. And what was, tell me about the, the, the decision, sorry, to not go uh, use any CGI, not mm -hmm. to release the film in 3D, and just to kind of keep it quite pure. Yeah. I think this is a kind of a throwback to the classic roots of horror because that's what Evil Dead was. Uh, it was really important. And, and I think in one way it's just a matter of taste. I prefer the movies for horror movies, something that is not 3D, and I prefer them when they're 100% practical, although they don't happen. They haven't been one of those for a long time. And, uh, and also because, you know, CGI dates film. So sometimes if you put too much CGI in a movie, then even if it's great, then probably in five years it's kind of, started looking weird and in 10 years it's just the movie's unwatchable so I want I want this film to live as long as possible along with the originals right of course obviously this is your debut film but is, is the horror genre somewhere you'd like to stay now or would you, would you find yourself to go to different no no definitely I want to I want to go back and do something similar to what my last short was something more something similar to the short and some um, something in the sci-fi universe and I'm probably going to go back to horror so it's just so much fun to do these films and uh and for me, it's, it's a great genre. It's something that has so much potential when you do it right, right? And um, so it's definitely something that I want to come back at some point, but not for the next film, probably. So when you watch the film back, are you able to get scared as a kind of audience member, <laughs> or is it quite difficult because you know the sort of... No, not, a, not, not when I watch it. I mean, I, sometimes in the, when I watch it with an audience, yes, because I'm with the same place they are, so I get into that mood. But I think the, the moment that I got scared the most was in the writing because imagine some of those scenes you've seen in the film but um and with my co-writer we write together during a period of time but then we separate scenes and then each one of us 
working those scenes separately. So you're in a dark room with some headphones, like listening to some creepy music from other films and coming up with the whole scene. And, and that's when you leave the scene, you know, leave the, the, the scene for the first time. You're like really experience the scene. And that's when it was really scary because the film is just built on all my deepest fears. <laughs> so probably that's when it was scarier. Well, thank you so much for your time. Much Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.